I need to see my Dwinky. Morning, Marcus. Oh, good morning, my lord. How are you today? It's been... Uh, could have been better, honestly. Oh, that's the... That's the tale of the Rose Knight. Got it from the books of... <clears throat> Not doing too well, what's up? <clears throat> uh, well, uh, firstly, uh, how is your rest? Hmm. Uh, well, you know. Rest. <laughs> what do you mean by rest? You need your full, uh, like, ten hours, right? Ten hours? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> At least enough <clears throat> time for you to regain your senses and your strength, yeah, for the day? Well, I'm here. Mm. Something on your mind? I guess that's... I guess that time is more for leisurely lords. Um... Well... I was reading up on... <laughs> the Rose Knight. Nightly Orders and such. And, uh, yes. I wanted to ask you. <clears throat> just, it's a little bit more serious. What is... What is the, the House Edhart code? You know, I don't think in the past two years I've really had to think on it. <clears throat> we kind of just played it by ear. Our words are honor and wisdom. Um, we lead. We turn to go by the, those. Those are the words. <clears throat> right, but when I look at uh, knighthood, there's a... There's usually a list uh, to, to carry out. Uh, sometimes it's carried out by word from the Lord. Um, I don't know. It's, everything we've been through, it seems uh, whatever code we have, it starts to break down uh, every now and again. <clears throat> well, the thing about a house that is basically destitute is you can kind of rebuild it in the ways that you need to. <clears throat> the main thing we keep by is the words. <clears throat> Forgive me, my throat. 
Um, oh, good. Um, but yeah. I suppose that is something we could bring up with Arn. We've always, in the past, right. been focused more on merit than blood. The example being that traditionally, especially in Giwan, <clears throat> people were given knighthoods and lordships based on their... Well, specifically knights, they were based more on their skill and their heart rather than I am son of Lord so-and-so, so I must become a knight. Which... Right. <clears throat> I don't know. Take, the, take of that what you will. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Um, I guess for me, it comes down to the usual suspects of what I've learned what a knight is, but our definitions may differ. Actually, I think it's guaranteed that they're different. Uh, for me, it comes down to a set of codes that one follows to make one soul good and just. So, things concerning um, the harming of innocents, or women and children, or your duty to the Lord, your God. It goes into the very, the, the big picture kind of look. So maybe that is a question for your father. <clears throat> <clears throat> Unfortunately, right now, we don't have a lot of luxuries of that, but I suppose there is yeah. a point to be made that if you can't do it when it's hard, then why have it at all? <laughs> someone someone did tell me a while back, um, if whatever code you followed led you here today, then what purpose was that code you followed, right? Or what laws? Um, I still think back to when we, well, I didn't, but I tolerated uh, us, us torturing people. That was pretty bad. <clears throat> um, mindless slaughtering, not mindless, but it, it was with purpose, but it was still pretty bad. I, I still think to that. Specifically? Uh, so that's, that's what's kind of... It's it's not really specific. It's more like straw on the camel's back kind of deal. We, we've, we've killed a lot. Like, there's, there's a lot of blood. And, um... I'll be honest. When I've been building the, the basement here, I've, I've, um... I've broken down a few times, and, um... There were, there were some nights it got pretty lonely. Uh, but that's, that's my cross to bear. Uh, it's good that we're uh, thriving. We're continuing on our purpose. I just don't uh, want us to lose sight of uh, who we are. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't yeah, think it's, we've it's lost our sight problem. of that, it's just a... Okay. It's... And you're not the only one it's feeling concern, separated though. from everyone and alone. Trust me. Unfortunately, <clears throat> it's the situation we're in. Yeah. We're certainly not brigands yeah. by any standard. We do things when we can to save That's... as many people as we can. Case in point, yeah. the uh, Robber Baron's men that were held up at the Cross Keys, the Imperials were to fucking execute them. I let them out, and I do brought them back here for justice, knowing full well that people would be annoyed with me, but I did it because it was the right thing to do. And as long as we keep striving to That's do the good. right thing to do when we can do it, <clears throat> I think we're on a pretty good path. Right. You d on the topic of brigands, um, it's, it's Sir Halstead, yeah. Uh, the other day when he said <coughs> the arm almost blew off at that camp uh, with the I wasn't there but yes how it went how it was described to me was that Marin gathered us all together to go save that that one guy who helped out uh, the Quill and Blade mm -hmm. and he helped take the quarry and he did a lot of good things for people. That was the mission. Just get him and go. 
Once we did that, I don't know if he said it or not. I don't know how he knew that there were secret maps and correspondences in a cat. We didn't know that. So two outcomes come in mind to me. <clears throat> Either he didn't know and he just split off from us. Remember, we were against an insanely large force that could have killed all of us. Cataphracts, saboteurs, and archers. We were heavily outmatched there. Any one of us could have just died. I almost died. Because the guy just threw Sotar's mercy in my face. <clears throat> that was bad. And the dual blades thing, and... <laughs> not a secret inquisitor, but some fucker who almost lopped my arm off. If he didn't know, it means... It means he split off from us, went into the camp by himself, risked all of us because we're split, and he somehow found it by luck. Right? That's a bit shady to me. If he did know they were there, he withheld that information to me and the rest of our group used us as bait as we left. <clears throat> if it's the latter, if he knew, <sighs> I'd be sorely frustrated. That's that's something I would fight a man over. I don't I don't ever want to be put in that position. <clears throat> to be used, right? And I hope that's not the case. I I really hope. Because all this, like, shady... I, I tolerate your stuff because I don't know about it. Your father doesn't know about it. That's fine. You're my lord. I can't say anything. A fellow knight who I'm supposed to stand shoulder to shoulder? I don't, I don't know if I can. Well, <clears throat> I'll start by bad. saying, first of all, he's not knighted. Second of all, I think him using you as bait and knowing that there's something in there and using you as pawns is quite a leap of logic. I think Sir Halstead... Oh, okay. I All think right. Sir Halstead had the foresight to think that there might be something in there that we could use. And if he went out of his way to do it by himself without endangering you, by all means. He's a drow. He's more stealthy. He's less likely to be captured. And in the event that he does get captured, he's not bringing you into it. That's what I think was going through his head, and those were his own words. I think we should be celebrating his ability to actually get this information that we need to use against these terrible, terrible people, rather than questioning his methods, no? <clears throat> I'm, I am not a the ends justify the means guy. Clearly. I'm not. What what we do <laughs> echoes into eternity. That behavior? <sighs> At least tell us. We we gotta have a plan. Like we gotta stick together on this. I I can't have I tell you everything. But I feel like there's so much unsaid to me. This this feels wrong. Kyla. It, yes, he he got it. But what if he didn't? Just him? In an entire camp? <clears throat> he could have just died. He could have been taken and interrogated. For everything he's worth. Not at night. What is he? He's somewhere in between, but that's semantics. He did that knowing the risks, Marcus. <sighs> He didn't go in there willy-nilly. He didn't do it on a spur-of-the-moment thing. He thought it through. At least I'd like to hope so. <clears throat> My only thing would be like, oh, he knew about it beforehand. That's why he went in. No one goes into a camp alone like that. Those are... If you were there, maybe you'd understand. Maybe you didn't <clears throat> see the scale of the place. They had five sections of scouts on horseback. That's a lot. And Harry had me documents from the siege camp. <laughs> I 
I'm j I'm just saying it's maybe I should get the door, but I'm it's a concern. It's not a problem. If it, if you say it's not a problem, I don't mind. To me, I don't like it. it that's just a concern. It could be easily wiped away, and you could say, "Oh, Marcus, that's fine. I'll move on." But I don't like that. You keep saying that, but then you keep bringing up questioning how we're doing things and your concerns about the direction we're heading. You bring this up consistently, Marcus. I try to put aside it. I try to explain things. I try and give you what you need to feel like you're not just a pack of bandits. But this consistently gets brought up. I thought we were past this, and I think we get past it every time. Um, okay, fair enough. Are you not happy with where you are, or are you not happy with us, or are you not happy with yourself? We need to figure that out so we can address it properly. Because I go through out of these conversations thinking that we've got an understanding, and then the same thing, we talk about the same thing three, four days later. If it's clearly something in the back of your mind consistently, and I worry <clears throat> that you are looking for confirmation bias, that you have confirmation bias, that when something does happen, it pings in your head and you go, this is another example. We're not trying to be bad people. Mm. <laughs> We're not bad people. I, oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think you are. Perhaps I'm just nitpicking. Um, and I'm trying to look at the whole picture, right? It's not like only bad things are happening here. Good things are happening as well. Yeah. But not the ends justify the means. Right. M maybe I'm the weak link in the chain here. <clears throat> not what I'm saying at all. Oh. I'm pointing out that you have these concerns and they are consistent. And while I try to show you and explain it, they're still there. Which makes me wonder, am I doing something wrong in explaining it, or uh, are my morals just completely shot in comparison to yours? Right? <clears throat> because uh, I, try and, I try and handle Everyone this has every their time. Own. Oh, sorry. Well, I, you know. Right. <clears throat> I try and handle this every time, and I try and <clears throat> present what we're trying yeah. to do, and it just doesn't seem to work. Well, I, I appreciate you willing to give it a go. You're the Lord, you can just simply say, I don't have time for this, and I would understand. And then we just move on. If you'd like, I can hold off. But the only reason I bring them up is because they're new. It's, I, <laughs> right? If things keep coming up and I have a thing for it, should I not share? You definitely should. I mean, it's not like I don't care about your thoughts and opinions, Marcus. That's not the case. Okay. <clears throat> well, these, these are brand new. That's just all, that's all I mean. <laughs> These are just the, the recent things that I'd like to... And you have spoken very eloquently about them. And... The crux of it yeah, is this. I promised I'd... Sometimes we yeah, have to do yeah. things that we don't want to do. And unfortunately, because of the situation that we're in, that happens more frequently than we would like. If we could go through this whole situation completely clean, that would be the best. Unfortunately... <clears throat> Have you seen the fucking scum that have their hands around our throats? Yeah, I, I was there. Yeah. We have to skirt around that as best as we can. And unfortunately... Well, we should be as low as them, right? The other option is <laughs> letting them walk over us and having them use us. Or take advantage of us. Or put us in a position that's worse than what we are. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I, I don't want that. I don't want the other thing. I... We're doing the best that we can is what I'm getting at. <laughs> yeah. I, I appreciate that. So, should I hold off? If Is it a problem? Like I said, I care about what you say. If something is genuinely bothering you and you feel like action should be taken, it should be allowed for the knight to say that to their lord. <laughs> 
I <clears> asked <throat> your, your father and he said, I hate yes men. And so I took that to mean, all right, I will express to you exactly what I mean. And I, and I mean what I say. Um, I'll try to be more mindful. That's fine. And, and I'm totally on board with that. The issue is sometimes I feel like we run in circles, you know? Okay. Like, mm. there's only so many times I can turn around and say, we're doing the best that we fucking can. It's shit. We have to do things that we don't like. That's shit. But we don't really have that much of a choice. We don't have a lot of wiggle room, unfortunately. <clears throat> you know? Yeah. I don't know. I Ever since the ship, I, I believe there's a way to come out more if we're like, as Hostler said, if we're more prepared, if we talk to each other more, plan things out. Lately, everything's just been kind of on a whim with the rest of the town, right? People just do things, <clears throat> and we have to react. Yes. So, yes. I don't know how we can get around that. I don't know how we can solve that. I've brought that up with Owen itself. I've mentioned that half of what we do seems to be cleaning up other people's mess or putting out their fires, and he understands that. Yeah, that, that. was that hour-long <clears throat> talk with Laudia that everything's coming back to you and your father with no recourse. Yes. At all. Yes. So, I hope we can find a solution. There um, is, but it's not a good one, unfortunately. Right. I can walk around, uh, I can get my armor on with you and go with <clears> you and <throat> see the people. It's okay. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty quiet one today. I'm just going to talk to people I've been meaning to catch up with for a while, but I've been too busy to do it. I know Tang wants to talk to me, and so does Lisa. Um, sure. I'll, uh... <clears throat> Anything else for me uh, that I can do for you? Just be around if I need you. Other than that, do your thing. Nothing, my lord.
to the cop. Morning. Right there. Oh. That one right there should be able to help. Mm-hmm. Oh well. Pardon me. <clears throat> nice to meet you, new friend. Pleasure. Name's Thomas. Kyla. Uh, I was hoping to see if there was any business in town here. What's I was came down that entrance. Huh? What's your trade? <laughs> well, I come from a family of woodcutters and whittlers, but I can do just about anything from heavy lifting. <clears throat> We're actually in need for woodcutters, believe it or not. Is that so? I'm going to leave this in your capable hands, and I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you, Basil. Thank you for your map, ma ma'am. You're welcome. My name is Lord Kyla Erhard. Woodcutters, eh? Yes. Uh, we... Oh. Apologies, my lord. That's fine, thank you. Um, <clears throat> no, our previous woodcutter uh, passed away a couple weeks ago, and we've kind of been on the back foot ever since. We're desperately Oh, what was the... What was the cause? I'm so sorry. Uh, there have been a couple of issues in town, but we've mostly got them handled. Right. <clears throat> Anything I need to know about? Uh, anything I need to know about, like work conditions, or is it dangerous here? Inside the town is pretty okay. Um, outside, however, we've been running into a couple of issues with orcs recently. We're trying to get a handle on that, and I'm sure you've heard of the recent war ah. that's quieted down as of recently. Yeah, I was passing down <clears throat> the cross keys, and I saw those craters they left in the ground. Yeah, must have been truly awful before I came. Uh, well, you're you're in the revamping, I guess, part. So you came in at the right time. Rebound? <clears throat> yeah. Amazing. Um, no, but as it stands, um, the woodcutter position is open. Uh, the woodcutter's lodge. Um, someone could probably take you there. Um, just trying to figure out how best to do this. Would it be in that orc territory you were talking about? <clears throat> do we have to reclaim it? Or or something it's close thankfully it was actually used as a strong point in the in the actual war we were talking about so it has nice big walls around it just getting there is the issue <clears throat> uh i'll need a escort of some sort definitely sounds like a real pain it's it's something um and of course then there's securing the wagons that leave there tell you what um take some time get to know the city a bit Learn the people, uh, learn where the places are, blacksmithery and stuff like that. And I'll send this oh, up the chain of command. Oh, we got a blacksmith here too. <laughs> yes. I'll send this up the chain of command and we'll figure out a way to put you in that position if we can. Sounds wonderful. Thank you so much. Your name again? Mm. Forgive me, I have to remember a lot of them. Uh, Thomas. Thomas. Don't worry. <clears throat> Thomas Treader. Pleasure. Hopefully we can get you where you need to be. It would be a much help to the town. Oh, thank you, my lord. I didn't expect someone so high and mighty to be on the streets. I'm a man of the Wouldn't people. Wouldn't you be up in that I business? Say. I like to keep my finger on the pulse of things. I can respect it. <laughs> hmm. All right. Well, I'll go peruse the town. I hear we got a bard in here or something. Some La Dea. <laughs> I'll seek you out when I can. <clears throat> thank you for your time. Might as well figure out where this wagon's going. Maybe. No. She's very fish predator like behavior. 
Morning, Sergeant. Hey, the taxes. Yes. Were you able to collect all of them? I just need to swing by the butchery to pick up the last four silver. I think it was. The rest are in the house. <clears throat> Got it. Um. Are we sure we shouldn't be worried about that? That seems rather concerning. Anything I need to worry about? <laughs> Another matter, but uh. Yeah. <clears throat> it's one of my subordinates wanted to be here for it, but unfortunately he's unavailable. I see. One moment. I think we're about to okay. witness a murder. Well, actually. Let's go somewhere off the street. Yeah, let's swing by the uh, the butchery, see if I can handle with that last little bit, and then we can head inside and I'll get the rest of it. Extra man, <clears throat> We'll be fine. Thank you, though. I'll keep him safe. I'm sure you will, my lord. You'll see why I don't want to bring any of them. <laughs> right. Butcher looks different today. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, they're clearly not in. I'll swing by on the way through. <clears throat> <clears throat> um. So, can you tell me about the orcs? How are we with those? Still sporadic fighting, they are infesting the forests. It's getting hard to move materials between the logging camp and iron mine. That was my fear, actually. Recently, or well, actually this morning, we had a <clears throat> woodcutter come into town. Their trade is that of a woodcutter. I want to position them in the woodcutter's oh, camp, oh, but it doesn't seem safe oh, right now. <clears throat> yeah, Sokka. So I was curious as to our updates on that, and if there was a way to get them there safely, but also make sure the roads aren't... We need to get them there safely, and we need to get the wood here safely. So I'm trying to figure That's out that. Thing. Most of our... <clears throat> Rot. Box. Rocks box. something up. Uh, okay. Oh. oh my god, I'm What is going on in this town? <clears throat> I ask myself that every morning, Sergeant. <laughs> What's on your mind? So it it has to do with the problems in Stabber's Alley. I wonder what problems could be in Stabber's Alley. Yeah. The patrols have been consistently clearing bodies, and it's been about a month. It's an issue. There isn't any commonality between the targets. They're just with a knife, and it's brutal. Opportune killings. We're... <clears throat> We're trying to track them down, whoever it is, but we just don't have the manpower or resources to do it. Hmm, okay. So, uh... This is why I'm bringing this up to you. I... Like your advice, there's two things that we could do. We can have more patrols in the town at night, but that means less patrols outside the walls, which are very important considering the forest situation. Mm -hmm. This would make sure the people inside the town are safe, but yeah. The other option is putting up a hefty bounty. An incentive for mercenaries to actually try and do something good. 
problem is we can't really fund that. <clears throat> I could take the money, explain it to the men that will have to stay the <clears throat> pay in order to pay for this bounty, but they will not like it. No. How many people know about this is occurring? I worry that this putting a bounty out would spark fear. Well, it's Stabber's Alley. Everyone knows people get stabbed there all the time. <clears throat> True. It's more of having... <clears throat> I just worry about the men if we do put out this bounty. How much would this... How much would a bounty like this fetch? I'm not really in that business. It'll at least be, I'd say, 15 to 20 minimum. <clears throat> That's a lot of pay for a lot of men. 15, 20 silver, sorry. But... I would hope it's not gold, <laughs> yes. Yeah, not, not gold. Okay. <clears throat> I have enough money to front this bounty. I can give it to you, the guards, and then you give it to whoever can catch this person or has proof that can lead and help the investigation. That way it doesn't come out of your men, and your men can still patrol outside, and we get some eyes on this. How does that sound? We can try that, but bear in mind, the bounty will likely have to be increased if nothing happens. <clears throat> That's fair. We'll start with 15 and go from there. Got it. Alright. Um, I also need uh, to give taxes? you taxes too. Do you have uh, that, or have you already turned it in? That's upstairs. Um, okay. This will be for the bounty. If you want to post that around, put it in the Merc Skewer, that's 15 silver. I'll grab the taxes, and we'll need to swing by the butcher on the way through, <clears throat> if they're there. And here are the taxes, with the exception of the butcher, which I will swing by now. <clears throat> if you want to join me. All right. I'll go with you. Um, right, the orcs. Um, well, we don't really have the manpower to spare to secure the roads, do we? Not quite. Not after, well, everything that's happened. Okay. We're still hovering around a hundred strong. That's... yeah. Not the greatest. In fact, could you do me a favor, either you or your associates, try to help out the... Spear? The woodcutter dome where the lumber mill is? That's the issue, is I want to be able to get them there safely. And then once they're there... Consistently will be a problem. Yes, but... that's the thing. I'm trying to figure out a way to do that in my own head. I was... Th maybe I could talk to the Carter's Guild or something, but... I was hesitant to send them there and put them there without knowing if they're going to get murked by orcs, you know? <clears throat> so... I'll bring it up with uh, maybe the Merc Guild and the Carter's Guild to see if we can broker something. But I'll handle that myself. You don't need to worry about that. Got it. All right. Let's go get this money. <clears throat> Other than that, how are the men? How are you?
holding on. <laughs> yeah. It's the, all we can do in this situation. I know how you feel. When it comes to the woodworker, if the lumber is going to be destined to the walls, I can secure a wagon from the keep. And what about protection itself? But... Uh, that's going to be the issue. Yeah. <clears throat> we already have patrols in forest, but they are... Uh... Okay. Well, you already know. Yes, stretched. I don't know how much I'll be able to cut per day, so to speak. My tools and such. I'll do what I can. This place is looking you... in need. Are you... Do you know how to chop down wood? <sighs> is there a bell? Do I... Ding dong. Oh, I see what I... I see what happened now. <clears throat> you didn't hear my warning. One moment. Omen in your. Okay, they should be on the way. What about securing more help from the Imperials? <sighs> One of the things a lot of the soldiers have been advocating for is more assistance, especially with orcs. Their the weapons will be supremely effective against <clears throat> the lumbering masses of meat. We don't really want... Because that would essentially mean putting them on patrol. We don't really want Imperials patrolling our lands. That was something that we fought against in the council meetings. They offered patrols early on. But, I mean... We want Guardians protecting Gradia, right? Plus, I'm hesitant to put the Barony in any more debt. <clears throat> It's an issue. I suppose it's your choice. Do you want to sacrifice the lives of more Guardians? Try and avoid that? No, obviously. Perhaps we could have them specifically <laughs> helping with the cards. I suppose I could bring it up with the Major. You here to... Fine, to finally collect the... Taxes, yes. How was it? It was... 10 silver total, and I paid 6, so I need 4. Correct. Thank you. And there you yep. are. Thank you. I suppose have a good day. I could bring it up with a major, but... I don't know. Perhaps just the roads connecting the <clears throat> quarries and the woodcutters. Yeah. If they patrol those, that'd help us a lot. It won't be much, but they're out of sight. They'll be in the woods. True. At the very least, I'll bring it up with my father and see what he thinks, but I think that might be our best option so far. Let's hope they don't ask too much for it. <clears throat> we had negotiating leeway before, but now... No, I'll leave it up to you. Thank you, Sergeant. You have a great day. Have a good one. <sighs> or it's smart enough to know to negotiate. <laughs> Yeah, give it your... Oh, God. <laughs> oh. I got rid of it. <laughs> That'll do it. Well, didn't use the dreadfish. Do you? Uh, I keep it. Uh, all right. Uh, I 
can still hear it. You shouldn't have gone where you don't belong. Now you know. Good morning, Miss Eladio. Oh, yes. How are you? Good morning. Right. Tired as days go on. I'm waiting to hear back you know about what? my anticipated arts festival. Mm. Did you manage to get a missive to Van Pelt by any chance? If I, didn't introduce... I sent a runner and a missive, Williams. so I'm hoping right. to hear back Williams? soon. Hmm. Yeah. One was sent yesterday and the day before. Business, so. Do let me know if you don't mind. Any day now. Thank you. That's a bit of course. I'll um, let you know the moment he arrives. Yeah. Was a bit... Mm. <laughs> mm. What? Anything else? I get your name wrong? You, when you shorten, I hope you know this you my name, arts event is going you to be William, you said William. a very oh. dangerous endeavor. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> is this really? is for the. But, yeah, Would you like your name out. to be Will? No, William. <laughs> William, okay. No. It cuts out. Right, well. yeah. Silver vein, get to the father. Please, you're going to stop us now. Blood debt. You're making a scene. Please wait this. No, you did not so You have not paid any of your debts. In wait, fact, Jesus. in fact, if you recall, you visited me drunk last night and borrowed ten more silver. Wait, wait. Oh, fuck. But you no, still owe me fifteen. You gave I me 15 it. copper. Let's clear Not out. Let Silverman do his business. According to Guardian law, he has every right to enact this. gave me 15 copper. This is true, oh. but he can handle it with a bit more decorum. He's trying to make sure he's not keeping his skull in. <laughs> I'd do it a different way. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Get him up. Get the fuck up. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. So sweet. Why should you get him bonking me over the head with a hammer? Maybe you, you know shouldn't what? have such a bonking helmet. <laughs> Fuck off. Hey! Look at me! He's punching the gut fired one. Yeah, so there is asking. <laughs> Take his ass up to the keep. <laughs> no, hand him over to whoever please, wants him. Please. Please. So uh, I'll pay. get the uh, coin. Oh, no. Whatever he's worth in chains. Get him out of my <laughs> sight! That's <laughs> boss. Come on. I can pay! Oh. Come on. I can pay! I can pay! I'm sorry! Please! I mean, tell me worse than when I, when I chatted with you. It's, it's, See, we it's thought it was temporary sorry. slavery. Now it's permanent slavery. Yes. Until I pay back all the time. Yeah, they took oh. all my shit off me. Oh, that was painful. My sword. Very. <coughs> Looted my entire no, fucking, uh... Fortunately, he's in his balance to do it. More of the usual. Yeah, more of the usual. Yeah. He's yours now. Yeah. Well, at least I won't be It'll fucking be hot anymore. Uh, wanna get food? Mm -hmm. I need to see if Vaughn's around. I ain't got liver armor. Uh, sure. So. <clears throat> How's the war coming along? Hmm. From the work we did yesterday, it's coming good. Tang made sure to get rid of all of my secretive bushes and the old wall, so no more traps. Handy. I know. We invite ruffians and brigands through my workshop, but that's it's all right. Torn to pieces. Well, <laughs> now that the wall is there, it should be nice and secure. I'm gonna see if my father's are right. Uh, yeah, I can uh, call for him if you wish. <sighs> if you want, if he's not busy, I know he's got a big day. If you got that good reviews, so I mean, I'll have to do some stuff. Let's see how busy he is. Lots of um, battered and injured people have been coming in. Just so you guys know, it, Kyla fully intends to catch this guy as Savitar and pay himself. <laughs> the, uh, the, the stabber and stabber's alley. <clears throat> Stonks. Kyla, 
Van Pelt, my house. Two minutes. Yep. I believe uh, my lord said earlier that he would be in today, but he may be busy in uh, 20 minutes from now. <clears throat> he will be busy in 20 minutes, or he'll be here in 20 minutes? Uh, he'll be here shortly, uh, but he, I believe he does have something in about half an hour. <clears throat> I literally just need a five-minute conversation. I'm sure it'll be okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got it. <clears throat> I'll see you in a bit. Yep. Oh, good, you're back. How is it up there? I'll be in and out of the house for most of the day. That's fine. I just wanted to run something as expected. Better. Um, real quick. New woodcutter came to town. We have the ability to get him to the woodcutter's camp. I'm concerned about the security of the wood coming back in. We don't really have the Radod men to spare for it, though the sergeant suggested perhaps we could ask the Imperials to patrol those roads specifically. I wanted your take on it. I don't really want to use Imperials. We can't pay out mercenaries, though. Every single concession we make to the <clears throat> Imperials are going to hold over our heads. Agreed. But we need the wood. Their losses here, they have agreed to old hold over the heads of the Redods. Everything they lose here, including that ship, <clears throat> is going to be brought under the Redod's heads. Mark my words. Hmm. If these new woodcutters want to try their luck, so be it, but we cannot afford the security uh, at all. <clears throat> The Imperials are already not quite doing what they're supposed to when it comes to Cassetto. I wouldn't be surprised if they would choke their responsibilities patrolling the other roads. But their only orders right now is to deal with the Dasko Bowman. Yeah. This is something you'd have to bring up with the Major. The only other thing I could think of is talking to the Merc Guild or the Carter's Guild to try and handle some sort of security. But they probably won't do it for free. No, they never will do it for free. I don't want to lose another wood. Paula has lost two thirds of her carts. Very unlikely she'll do anything for free, even if she wants to. And Sardo is a businessman first, Guardian second. If you take my meaning. Yes. Uh, how often do these carts come in? Once a day, twice a day? For the woodcutting. Wood. Yes. <laughs> we haven't had a single cart come and go since Sif's death. But if we had this woodcutter there. I'd probably go out in the morning, spend the day cutting, come back in the evening. Could we spare some soldiers just for those trips? From where, my son? Yeah, I know. So, leave them to their fate or get in debt more with the Imperials. The choices are not good right now. No. The only other thing I could think of <clears throat> is using our own funding. To at least temporarily alleviate getting some lumber worked on and brought back to the town. Could hire a small force, maintain it daily. But until we have a strong revenue stream, that's going to hit us hard. Yes, I've already put 15 of my own silver towards a bounty rather than have it come out of the guard's pay. <clears throat> We're as stretched thin as the barons are right now. Though, if we, if we can get the Imperials on these roads, that would also cover the mines, which means we would be able to get iron in, which means we could have a revenue stream from the blacksmith. Or is that out of option two? 
Like Bolano, the iron mine is separated from the robber baron's forces. They've dug themselves in, refused to surrender. <clears throat> Great. It's going to be either we make them surrender or we have to take it by force. I don't know yet. The way I've looked at it is for now they're not moving and they're a buffer for them, the orcs. Yeah. Let them sit there for now. Okay, I will attempt a loose negotiation with the Major, even if it's less patrolling the roads and instead just following the carts, anything. The other problem is that Mirandel, before his departure, left his plan for the iron mines in Markle's hand. Which means Markle Morgul is going to control both the stone mine and the iron mine. Which puts us at a massive disadvantage. So either we have good rapport with Markle Morgul, or he's going to squeeze us dry over time. He's already been doing that. It's why I want to try and expand Nodis into at least another settlement. That was something else I wanted to bring up. I've had farmers come to me wanting more land to work on, and uh, obviously we need more wood in the woodcutters. You talked about setting something up in the Sabine. How can we fast track that? That would solve both of these problems. We could even have a small more militia quickly, there. quickly, my son. I'm confident that if you and I did something from the ground up, and I had first and last say in the way things went, we could make a quite uh, prosperous village spring up over time. But that is still construction, the movement of materials, um, security of the build site, and then security of the village itself. We're going to have to put everything we have into this in the hopes it's kickback for us. And even then, there's no guarantee that the Radads will give it to me as a thief. We have to be on good terms with at least one of the sons, which I'm hoping a mem has seen us in a far more <clears throat> favorable sight, considering what we've done as of late. Yes. I mean, it's either that or we keep spinning our wheels in the mud here, putting out fires. We need to make a breakout. We need to do something, right? At some point today, I will go looking to see if there is a suitable location to start clearing of trees and perhaps put down a village. It would need to be near one of the rivers. Mm -hmm. There would have to be a secondary mill, or perhaps that will be our inn with Mr. Morgul, perhaps some trade with his mill there to mill whatever wheat or flour as our own. Of course there's security too, but... Security will be the biggest issue. Especially with the crowds being right there. We need gold. Kylo, we need gold. Not silver, gold. We have about two. That's our biggest hang-up. We need everything. far more. Yeah. We either need something that we are able to seize ourselves, or we need to be seen fit to be given a particular reward. But I'm not sure how we're going to manage either of those things. There isn't much to take, and if we haven't proved ourselves to have a reward of a thief by now, we only won that war because of us. You're correct. Which means we have to play things very carefully, but also realize that we have some weight to <clears> swim <throat> around. This dynasty would have collapsed if it wasn't for the Eddards. Mm -hmm. 
if it wasn't for our leadership and if it wasn't for what we did, this backwater province's military would have collapsed. We need to get people to recognize this. And when I say people, I mean the nobles. Karbazra is a town to the far north. Mm -hmm. It's about a half day's travel north. It is held by the Salam dynasty. The man there is known more for his patience and diplomacy than anything else. <laughs> he has a very overworked son who acts not only as a guard commander, but also oversees whatever it is that his infirm father cannot. While his father's mind is all there, his body is frail, so he has had to pick up quite a bit. The dynasty itself is militarily weak. They have their garrisons, they defend their land south of the Katsuva forest. And they are often harassed by roaming companies of mercenaries freebooters, free companies that operate outside the law. And I don't know if it's connected, but before any of us came here, apparently the man had a daughter. And one night, one night he discovered that her room was broken into and his daughter was missing. There was no ransom note, nothing, just gone. So the family is overworked, small, and vulnerable. His wife also, as far as I know, passed long before our arrival. But they have some economic weight from what I heard. Mersk was talking to me about it the other day. Really? Yes, he suggested he that we attempt to garner some sort of trade agreement, or at least something with them. Apparently this is something he's been wanting to do with the Redodge for a while, but obviously he stands to gain a lot from it. So it seems a little suspicious, which is why he came to us to see if we oh. could head it up instead. It is Gradia. The behavior is expected. Yes. <sighs> but we're out of options and out of time. Yeah. But this is what we will do. Two days from now, you and I with a small delegation will set out to Kaibazra. It should be about a half a day's travel. Our sole business will be to conduct negotiations with the dynasty there. We have to come to the table with reasons why they would benefit from an alliance with the Radards, even if we must embellish a bit. The first thing that comes to mind is Kabazra is landlocked. They don't have access to a port. And that trade is all over land, which can take forever. Not to mention the I bridge. I guarantee you they suffered. With, yes. I guarantee you they suffered when the Narion Bridge was raised. And the barony there is known for charging like mad. To be expected. If we could give them a way around that. They might be very inclined to listen to what we have to say. But then we need ships. There's so much <clears throat> that needs to fall into place. I've actually been talking to a shipmaster. They're planning to build a shipping something here. Part of the negotiations with some of the people at uh, Corsetto, they're... Uh, the only way they were really going to help us is if I promised to present something to the barons, allowing them to become a shipmaster in Nautus. And since the Imperials have taken over the docks, they've recently talked with some of the merchant company to build a new dock. New company. Well, not a company, but a new uh, warehouse to store goods. That could be a way through. This could work very well, actually. I'm not sure what you did to get their interest. But that could help us a great deal in the long run. I figured as much. 
But if that's the case... If we talk to them and find out what it is that they want for that to happen... Or we come to some sort of agreement with them, or if you're able to find out what their intentions are... We can get them in here as soon as possible. Begin that construction <clears throat> with the wood that we'll get now. Get them what they need to start shipbuilding. That could be the foundations of our promise to the Salam dynasty. And return economic aid. Perhaps manpower, we don't know. We'll have to see what they have to offer. Okay. We spent the last couple of months lining up these dominoes. Let's knock them down. One after the other, my boy. All right, I will talk we to the major. Start prioritizing ourselves. Yes, I'll talk to the major. See if maybe if it isn't even patrolling the roads, if he can just go with the carts or you know send like a small rifle squad, just something to even just deter the orcs. Other than that, they're on their if own. If you can get them to agree to that, so be it. Yeah. Then with that wood, we give it to... The man's name escapes me, but... The man building this ship working dock. That they can build it, we can build the ships. And when we can use that to fulfill a promise. And with that, we'll have some economic stuff, and then, okay. God. It's a lot, but this is what we're doing. This is what we handle. Yeah. We'll get the playing pieces in order. That'll be our leverage <clears throat> with the Slum Dynasty. We find out what they have to offer us in return. We'll we use whatever it is that we get from them for our own good. Try and get one of those towns set up or something. Yes. <clears throat> I'll spend at some point today looking for a possible build site. It would be excellent if that dynasty was well off enough to give us a loan. That'd be handy. All right. That would be dangerous. I'll be around if you need me. Good luck. Got some meetings to do. All right, my to. son. Be careful. Mm. I'm on my way to talk to uh, Van Pelt, see if he knows anything about these cloven ones, too. See if there's any more in the area. I'll let you know what comes of that. Very good. <clears throat> It's all lining up! It's all lining up, let's go! Okay. Oh man. All the- all the fucking groundwork being laid, holy shit. <laughs> Finally paying off. <clears throat> I feel missed and I can give him a message. Did, no, I did not miss him, there he fucking is. I'm up for a meeting. I'm late for a meeting. I'm really late for a meeting. <laughs> Walk and talk. Okay. What do you need? First off, I would like to spend some time with you only because <clears throat> I want to. Second, uh, how would you like to make some crystal boxes? I beg your pardon? Crystal boxes out of crystal? No. The same thing that I made before for Corona. Oh, to put it crystal <clears throat> Do we need boxes to yes. put? Are there more out there? Should we be worried? I'm just making them just in case. <clears throat> it's a precautionary measure. You know what we deal with and you know how often we deal with it. All right, I gotta talk to these people. I will find you after and we can figure this out, okay? Okay, I figured I would ask. All right. Just planting this. Only there is a, a knocking at the door. Trust, no. Did you need a guard? No, I, Lottie isn't there. I'm just gonna talk to her. And... Oh. <sighs> Lord Van Pelt, I didn't miss you. Ah! Young Lord? <laughs> Good day to you, sir. Good to see you, Lord. Hmm. I was hoping to talk to you if you were free. I am now. I've already spoken with the young lady, uh, Heidemann. 
She has informed me that you wish to discuss things with me, so if you would like to take this somewhere more private, you can do so. I have already been given a small amount of information as to what the topic will be. Sure. Very um, brief, <clears throat> but enough. Well, yeah, come with me, if you don't mind. I don't. Hope the day is treating you well so far, Lord Van Pelt. No, guy wants me to escort him there. I don't, I've never been it to the been blogging been camp. He said, I thought he meant the, east, uh, the eastern gate. I guess not, so I north gate. I have to decide whether or not this is for the good or for ill, but hey. we'll see. Traveling up the northern gate, first pathway that you were able to see off of the <clears throat> This is in relation to Lady Heidemann, right? This is in re relation to a lot of things. Hmm. Yes. Story of my life. Yes. The news that has been brought to my ear about which we are to discuss has got me intrigued, I will say. In a good way or a bad way? A mix. Hmm. I'm not unfamiliar <clears throat> with the topic of discussion. To hope I am not intruding. No, it's fine. Um, so, as I'm sure you've already been made aware, um, the reason I wanted to talk to you is you are a renowned hunter and you know all sorts of things about animals and beasts and creatures such as, well, <laughs> these cloven ones, I believe is what they're called. The Sataman. Right. Cloven ones, devil men, horned men, a term that I have heard attributed to them in mass has been briar herds, due okay. to their tendency to live in briared areas within both forest and plain. They are horrid beasts, where the orcs are brutal in their cunning. I'm afraid that these satyrmen are simply cunningly brutal. Dangerous mix. They're... They are beasts of a nature that hate anything that walks that is not them. They make a point of raising and sacking and destroying settlements. And... I've always been a bit of a pest, not merely in Theosia, but from what I understand, in the Lake Gewin as well, as well as several other provinces. They have been known to wander, but to hear that a briar herd is so close to Nortis has me intrigued. They're not native, as far as I am aware, to this coastal city. The existence of one of them, small as they were, does that have implications of more of them? Is this something we should be concerned about? Oh, undoubtedly so. Fuck. If you find one, there's more than, more than any <clears throat> doubt there will be others. The question becomes whether or not you find... Briarherds have a nasty uh, hierarchical system. They're like beasts, like the orcs. They follow those that are larger and stronger than themselves. The smaller ones, while they are slightly less dangerous than their larger cousins, they are not to be underestimated. They can, from my understanding, go hand in hand with the greyish orcs we have been seeing in the lands. Mm. <clears throat> it is the larger variants that you should be aware of and be very 
very keen in keeping an eye out for. There are, of course, the beastmen that you have met already. More than likely, you have met one of the horned satyrmen. But there are others that stand towering even above them. There are those that have bodies like that of a bull that are about the same size as this building, at least the top floor. There are those that have a singular eye that can lean over the currently built walls with relative ease. Although those are admittedly rather rare. I think I only ever found one during my hunt. I think most of them ended up dying off simply due to the actions of the Empire. However, it is not that they are not without... They are very, very dangerous. How the are ones they... that are about the size of the wall can carry and launch boulders as if they were simply catapults or ballista. Without the need for aiming. Without the time or delay for <clears throat> aiming. Tiberius, we're talking about the cloven ones. I believe you've you met sir? Van Pelt, Lord Van Pelt. Esteemed hunter of the Imperium. I see. I've heard uh, much of his exploits. Is mm -hmm. that least? Uh, then how... Most of them good, or most of them bad, either which way, that are truth to most of the stories, and he's gone. The door eight. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> yes, I saw. How would they yes. arrive here? If one of them managed to get here, and you say they travel in groups, and it's unlikely that there's not more of them. I, I mean, between where they originate from is, what, Ejmister Loss, the ocean, and... Ireland? They would not dare venture into Eshmethalos. Exactly. They would not <clears throat> dare. And as for the realm of Ireland, I do believe that they were free of those beasts. If anything, it would more than likely be either from the sea through importation due to the Colosseums known to be throughout Gladia, or a more well, morbid possibility is simply that they share the home of the orcs in Agmadrod. Do they get along, orcs and these creatures, or planes. would they be at end? Ah. It sounds like they'd oh. be at end. Briar herds and orcs get along like oil and water. Hmm. They are not allies. Not that they <coughs> go out of their way to eliminate each other without means. However, the cloven ones, as I've previously discussed, have a hatred for anything that orcs. Which includes the orcs. It's one of the reasons why the orcs and the cloven ones are at odds, more than likely. The orcs have a tendency to try and take over that which they conquer. The cloven ones, or the beasts tend to simply raise that which they attack. No survivors, no settlements, no structures, it is all raised to the ground. We've been getting a constant Any flow of orcs from the north now that the Dawe are no longer patrolling the pass. Mm. Is it even I'm possible to... I'm entirely unsurprised. Well, is it possible for them to both enter the province separately? But that, to me, sounds strange. You'd think they would be fighting over the way to get through. From my understanding, there are pathways over the mountains which the orcs would use. The briar herds, however, would probably use more land-based routes. <clears throat> if they had managed to get through, probably would have started in smaller number and then would have multiplied through their means. Even that is an alien thing to me, and I do not exactly wish to find out either. Their habits are morbid. They are man-eaters, 
much like the Uruks and the Orcs. They will make a meal out of anything that they can capture. And they are viciously horrendous with those that they do. I do not know why the depths of their hatred is as potent as it is. However, they've made a point of avoiding certain areas. For example, Eshmethalos, they would dare not go near the borders of such a place for <laughs> almost obvious reasons. The elves wouldn't let them reach that far. As for the Uruks, I would imagine they would probably take up some of the lower plains away from the orc settlements and capture and eat and devour any unfortunate goblin pack or Uruk patrol that decided to go too far. They would... are a very nasty thing to encounter. Would you be willing to conduct a scout of the area to see if you can find any evidence to suggest more of them? I can certainly add it to my list of hunting locales. I'm not opposed to hunting down some of these beasts. After all, I am here for exactly that reason. This is my vacation. <laughs> to find such a rare specimen in Gradia of all places is intriguing. So, I will certainly see about what I can do. Let's just see if, if there's I any more in the area first, know. rather than, you know putting a bullet into their eyes immediately. <clears throat> it's more about I... having information. If we know that there's more out there, we can prepare better. And you are probably the best hunter we have. I can certainly have a look. Uh, the Militarum would probably benefit from the information as well. And I would go with both uh, the Lady Ladia and your own discretion. Making something like this public is more than likely a unadvisable, inadvisable thing to do. Agreed. They are known for the reputation, and the reputation is well earned. <clears throat> As for the beasts themselves, I will see what I can find when I look into it. If I encounter any of these briarheads in my hunt, I will be sure to share the information. I will ensure that the Major receives a report should I encounter any more of them. I would like our men to be as equally prepared. You'd be doing as a they service too. a nasty... They are a nasty race of beasts that would be better left scoured from the planet, and that's the only thing that I would agree with the Inquisition on for that particular race. Hmm. The beastmen do nothing but destroy. Very well. Thank you, Van Pelt. You've given me a lot. You and Lady Eladia both have given me quite a lot to ponder, so I will do my best to look into these things and make decisions as according to my judgment. But if I should encounter any of these beasts, I'll ensure to let you know. Thank you. It's very interesting to hear of such a thing being in the area. Do be careful on your trips. You're not the only ones that can see in the dark, my dear boy. Ominous. Mm. <sighs> Good morning. Morning. Seems like you've been having an interesting one while I've been <clears> gone. <throat> Very busy, actually, yes. I actually have a meeting to go to now as well. Ooh. A meeting? Oh. Do you require my assistance, my lord? Only if you're not busy and you want to. I'm going to talk to the Major, so... <laughs> oh, that will be... horrid, but I will <clears throat> endure for you, my lord. <sighs> you say there was a commotion, though, my lord. Seems the Major was greeted by some sort of individual that came from one of their ships. Seems they stepped within the clinic and they haven't stepped out yet. Just an individual? Nothing else on that? 
who's bearing a stature that seems respectful.